Welcome everyone. Finally, we're back in Florence. PT Uomo 101. Let's talk to some dapper people. Come on. So, for people who don't know you, what's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Johannes Laschet. Uh, my name is uh, Nabil Scott. My name is Andy Poupart. I'm Michelle Free. My name is Judith. And my name is Felipe. I'm Ide Stevens. My name is Ksenia. My name is Maximilian Mark. My name is Pascal Zimmer. I come from Luxembourg. Architecture and uh, real estate development. And uh, when I'm, I'm really quite few, also passionate uh, for vintage clothing and uh, traditional tailoring. So I heard you're even running a store and an MTM line? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, so I try to make my passion a little bit in a serious job. So we have an uh, opened in 2004 a shop in Luxembourg. Uh, so uh, we make both. We try to find uh, icons of style everywhere in the world. We have some cherry picking everywhere. And also some, uh, some tailoring and also some uh, medium measure stuff. Yeah. Can you walk us like really quick through your outfit? What are you, what are you wearing or who are you wearing? An uh, made to measure suit uh, from, from our shop. Uh, it's uh, in tweed. I'm a big tweed lover. So, um, like, yeah, of course. Tweed is man's best friend. So it's uh, very 20, 30 years inspired. I'm very passionate about the proportions of, of this area. So uh, that's why uh, I try to, to promote this, uh, this proportion, this style a little bit. Uh, this coat is, uh, it was an, an one-off, uh, it was a try uh, for, for Granfeld. Uh, they want to make a raincoat which is a little bit warmer, it's perfect for today, so it's, yeah. uh, but it's not, uh, it's never was done in uh, big production, it was it's only a prototype. I uh, run uh, Amide Hadelen, which is uh, uh, a brand uh, in accessories and shirts and knitwear and stuff like that. Uh, and it's an online business, uh, so I sell worldwide. Um, and I design it at home. I'm from the Netherlands. It's made in uh, in England uh, and or in Italy. Cool. So that's the reason why you're at Pitti. Yes. Yes. Always here to uh, you know to meet all the new friends and, and contacts in the business. So that's uh, that's the main reason why why I'm here. Can you walk us through your outfit real quick? What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Uh, this is a uh, bespoke jacket by uh, a Dutch, a young Dutch uh, tailor. Anton uh, is, a, is a tailor uh, in, in Enschede, uh, that's so close to the German border. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's a young guy, but he's a, he's, he's a nice and upcoming tailor in the Netherlands. It's a piece of Harris tweed I bought myself. Um, it's uh, almost bulletproof. Almost bulletproof. And it's, it's from an independent weaver, so it's from Urga Loomshed. She makes incredible tweets. Um, Your cap? My cap is actually the same uh, Harris tweet by the same, uh, so a different Harris tweet but by the same uh, weaver, so also by, uh, by Joanne from Urga Lumsha. Cool. And it's a bespoke cap uh, made by uh, Bertie Steinbrook in, in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's nice because it has a, a silk lining of you know, uh, my own brand. As does the, the jacket, by the way, it's a, it's a Vermeer inside. And uh, this is my own knitwear, so Fair Isle uh, sleeveless cardigan. Um, one of my own wrap ties, one of my own orange label uh, uh, shirts. Trousers are in fox flannel made by Luxire. I'm wearing my own wool socks and uh, some, um, some loafers <laughs> some in, in, in Cordovan. Yeah, that's fine. So. Your, your bag maybe? Uh, just uh, just a simple small bag, so okay. uh, you know it's uh, it's convenient uh, to carry here. Uh, one of my own scarves as well, cashmere, and uh, to top it off, uh, a pair of uh, purple peccary gloves. Cool. Also my own product, obviously. I was born in Italy and raised also. I graduated in art history, and I'm now working as a curator, but also as a stylist and as a content creator. 
and I'm trying to somehow, I'm working in the field of fashion but also in the field of art so it's for me an important aspect is always uh, that there is a story to tell, that there is something uh, deeper which is why I'm also very obsessed with the vintage clothing. That's really cool. You may have guessed. <laughs> yeah, vintage is what I like to hear. Um, exactly. <laughs> um, it's more than a trend, I feel like. It's, definitely. It's, uh, it's a passion for me. It's actually something deeper and uh, not only a trend which you should follow now, but something that really is, um, is a lifestyle also. So. Can you walk us through your outfit real quick? What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Yeah, right now I'm wearing uh, all vintage. I'm wearing this uh, super nice hat, which is from Colmar. It's a vintage piece, like maybe you would wear it for skiing or something. It's uh, really nice. And, uh, and then I'm wearing all vintage from one of my favorite uh, places in Siena called Aloe Wolf. Maybe you know her. Uh, she has an amazing archive. And uh, <laughs> whenever I'm going there, I, I forget about time. Like time really stands still and I, I really forget about everything else. So it's really my passion and uh, that's why I decided to wear this today. Cool. So yeah, the, the shoes, shoes are Mio Mio, yeah. Ah, Mio Mio, okay. But always vintage, and uh, yeah, I feel like with vintage you can also play a lot because you can really mix things together that you wouldn't think of mixing, or you can wear them in a different way. You can wear scarves in so many ways, for example, and uh, that's what I love about vintage too. That it's really, it has no limits, it has no creative limits, and yeah. I think so. Cool. Yeah. Um, is it your first pity? It's my first pity. Yeah, that's uh, that's correct. And uh, I'm loving it, so I will okay, cool. return for sure. Uh, I work with uh, an Instagram account with. Uh, um, so you Swedish brand, you okay. can say. Um, no. Yeah, this uh, I don't know. This uh, mix with the vintage mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and. Uh, this uh, from uh, Oscar Jakobsson, this uh, Swedish brand. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, uh, the jacket. Jacket, and uh, this uh, from uh, Polo. Ah, Polo. Polo. Yeah. Farm, yeah. And uh, this uh, vintage. I don't know what it is, but I put here my. <laughs> <laughs> Your yeah. AirPods. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need those. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this trouser, are, I I made uh, this uh, this two trousers. Ah. I uh, you joined I two trousers at the waistband. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, this uh, uh, the shoes. The shoes. This from uh, Luke. 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 Uh, ah, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Have fun. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a tailor based in Berlin. Cool. Uh, so that's the reason why you're at Pity. Exactly, yeah. Uh, meeting people, seeing old friends, uh, yeah, enjoying Florence, obviously, enjoying the sun, all of these things. Have you seen like an outfit or a trend uh, which this time? Yeah, I mean, I see a lot of like it went a little less colorful, I think, um, mm -hmm. in which I like. I mean, I'm a big fan of colors. I mean, today I'm wearing the ice green, <laughs> but it's uh, it got a little bit more quiet, which I think makes also sense because in times of crises like we are facing right now people normally tend to go for conservative cloth a bit yeah. more makes sense yeah. yeah do you recall how many times you've been at pity or yeah, i think it's the 12th time if 12, i'm not uh, if, if i'm not completely <laughs> wrong with counting um, i mean i'm going here since six and a half years and then there was okay. one that we missed but something <laughs> like that yeah <laughs> okay cool yeah. um yeah so finally can you walk us through your outfit so maybe it start from uh, down to top so i'm uh, wearing bespoke shoes from my good friend leonard kalke uh, from frankfurt he's a bespoke shoemaker and then everything else is made by me um, i'm wearing a, a super 120 flannel by uh, stan Deven. Uh, it's a color which we don't know what to call we think it's an ice green um, then a knitted tie uh, also from us a uh, white Oxford shirt with a tab collar, we call it the German collar, quite a long collar. And uh, the overcoat is made from a fabric from Laura Piana, it's a merino wool with a herringbone. And yeah, also cut quite long, quite close to the body, as we like to do it. And it's all like Maximilian Mock. Absolutely, from top to toe, as I said. Oh, the, the sunglasses are <laughs> Jacques-Marie Mage, I don't do sunglasses yet. And I'm a content creator, full time. 
Okay, so you do like fashion or what's your reason to be at PT? Um, yes, I do fashion. I actually came here for the Ande Milumista show, ah. but it was cancelled unfortunately. But yeah, I do mainly fashion on Instagram, TikTok and ah. YouTube. Is it your first pity? No, it's my second actually. I was here last summer. It was really cool, my first, first time ever here. And it's different because I usually go to Paris Fashion Week, to Milan Fashion Week and to London Fashion Week. So that's a completely different world for me, but I truly liked it. You have a very particular style. How yes. would you describe your, your style? My style, I don't, I wouldn't describe it. I just say I'm very versatile mm -hmm. and it depends on my mood, what, what I'm wearing. I can also wear a slim suit if I want to. So it really depends on my mood. But today I would describe it as avant-garde street style. Okay, cool. Do you have like style icons? Uh, style icons, not really. I get inspiration from everywhere. Even at PT, when people, when I see people, they dress different than me, like you. But I love the details, and I can get inspiration for from your outfit, for example, as well. So yeah. Walk us through your outfit real quick. What okay. are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Okay, um, let's start with the beanie. The beanie is from Arcade Women's Wear. Nothing special. The earrings are from um, brand from Thailand. They focus on jewelry and pearls, uh, but I forgot the name. I think it's something with P. Sorry, I <laughs> can't remember. This brand is uh, from ADR. It's a German brand, mm -hmm. and the guy who owns the brand is al also a YouTuber and content creator. And underneath, I'm wearing a very see-through top from Tom Chrome, and the trousers are from Ande Milumista. And the shoes are from Bottega Veneta, which are actually my favorite shoes ever. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Cool. My name is Johannes Laschet, but uh, everybody calls me Joe, so my Instagram is also uh, called Joe Laschet. Um, I'm a blogger for Classic Menswear. Uh, I'm curr currently I'm writing a book about the whole Classic Menswear lifestyle. And so I, I made this my main job right now. So yeah, that's what so I'm doing. That's uh, also the reason why you're at Pity. Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm going. I go, I'm going to Pity since uh, 2017, and I was there uh, every year since then. So for me, it's a must to go to this fashion fair. But uh, especially now, it's it's very important to be there because all the menswear bloggers in the world, all the experts, are here to, yeah, and to talk to them, and that's a very important part of my job. What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Uh, yeah, today I'm wearing a more casual uh, winter outfit. I'm wearing a full bespoke suit from uh, Pivot Tailoring, um, a uh, polo coat, uh, Ulster coat from uh, Gutteridge, and uh, the turtleneck sweater is from Suit Supply, and of course my favorite piece, my hat, is from uh, Stetson, a fedora hat. Cool, thanks. I own the custom clothing brand in New York City. That's really cool. And that's yes. why That's the reason why you're at Pity. Yes, well, uh, it's one of, one of the reasons. I'm here to meet my suppliers, meet the colleagues, and also meet the friends. Um, and, you know, Pizza is just like this fantastic place with a amazing energy and amazing people. And uh, this is the place to be, for sure. How many times have you been at Pity? This is my second time. I have been here exactly three years ago. And then with the pandemic and everything, I wasn't able yes. to come back and um, look at what other brands are doing. Because, you know, it's all in our industry, right, of tailoring and clothing. It's all about um, doing, designing what you love, but also seeing what other people are doing. And maybe being inspired by some new designs and bringing them back to New York with me. Have you seen an outfit that left you like in awe, you know, inspired, really inspired you? You know, time? I personally <laughs> really love uh, seeing how people go back to basics. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, the monochromatic looks, the um, a lot of turtlenecks, like I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, turtlenecks and seeing the monochromatic looks and just seeing the quality, you know, the cashmere, the, um, the, 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 the wool and it just makes me more happy than seeing like a bunch of colors all together. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And finally, can you walk us through your outfit? Like what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? <laughs> So I'm actually, fun enough, everything that I wear is made by my company, uh, but the tie, so everything but the tie. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing my um, my coat, my three-piece suit, uh, all is custom made, and I also I'm wearing the custom boots that are also made by my company uh, from a 
croco leather. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a slightly bolder look than uh, uh, I kind of wanted to. I designed a couple of looks that, you know, like one is like more monochromatic, one is like more bolder, and uh, just, you know, to be a little different every time. And to attract a little bit of attention at, when you were at Pitium. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, yeah, you don't want to just like come boring and because, uh, you know, it is slightly like, yeah, you want to um, you want to have people talking about you and uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank and you. Enjoy thank your you. pity. Uh, my name is Andy Poupart. I work for Apple as a software development manager. And I'm Michelle Free. I work for a cybersecurity company. And we both work in uh, Northern California near, near San Francisco. Can you walk us through your outfits? The coat is a, a Burberry runway coat. Uh, that's probably the, the main piece. But an, and Taylor sweater dress. Sweater dress, yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is Caroline Andrews' pin. Oh, her pin, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Kate Spade. And gloves from Madova, uh, a new purchase from Madova. Here in Florida. On this trip. Yeah. Right. yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay, so this uh, the coat is Eduardo Simone. Um, the my jacket is a bespoke jacket uh, from a this is a London lounge uh, cloth uh, Gianni uh, Agnelli Glencheck, right? Okay. And so made for me by a Southern California tailor. The waistcoat is uh, Kit Blake, London. The trousers are made by Stephen Hitchcock uh, in London from a Fox collaboration with uh, Permanent Style. Uh, cap uh, cream cavalry twill, shoes are Edward Green. My hat is uh, from Optimo Hats in Chicago. Oh, shirt, uh, yeah, shirt is also Hemrajani, um, same people that made the jacket. Uh, cravat, I think, is Cravat Club in the UK, in London. Coming to Pity for the first time, in fact, uh, I won't say it's a life changing experience, but it really, uh, it, it, you know, helped become a part of, you felt like you were part of a community. Yep. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, which I think was the thing that took us a little bit by surprise, you know. Uh, before we came, it was always, uh, well, we didn't know what to expect, and you, you sort of go, but even if it sucks, you know, we're still in Florence. <laughs> uh, and it just was much, much beyond our expectations, wouldn't you say? Uh, absolutely, yeah. That's yeah. why we keep coming back. Yeah. So we went all over the Great Pond here to meet people at Pitti Womo. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's all about the people at Pitti Womo. That's and your all part. the that's why fabulous we come. fashion. That's, that's yeah. why we come. We, we, we have no business here. Uh, <laughs> we are uh, sartorial tourists. <laughs> um, and uh, someone said yesterday that, that uh, you know, Pitti well, Pity is a, obviously a trade show and so on, but for uh, for people like us and others, it, it feels like a class reunion. What's your favorite part about Pity? All the people. I just seeing so many people who are, you know, smartly dressed like yourself. Just seeing France, the community a little bit. The people, actually. I love to meet new people, like-minded people. The guys who are here who uh, share the same passion. People for sure, but also I come here to get inspired. Well, I guess it's really the people.